Hey guys, I'm Kat. And I'm Sunny. And this is I Two Cents. In this video, we're going to be combining episodes 18 and 19 of Fruits Basket. Yay, let's go! Woo! It's been a while. Woo! Yeah. Woo! So in these two episodes, we got to meet two more members of the Zodiac. Mm -hmm. The tiger, Kisa, and then the monkey, Ritsu. <laughs> oh, those are the best. Kisa Soma is voiced by Ueda Reina, who also plays Onoya in Real Life and Ruri in Dr. Stone. Ritsu Soma is voiced by Kawanishi Kengo. He plays Rei in March Comes In Like a Lion, and he is also in Dr. Stone as Asagiri Gen. What did you think of them? They were cute. They're cute. Their stories were sad. Yeah. What did you think about them? I mean, I wasn't surprised because I already knew them. Oh, that's right. You read the manga. That's right. I have been waiting for them to come in. Oh. Like Kisa's episode, I've been waiting for. Because oh. he gets me every time. Oh, really? I think she was in the... She was in the old one, but I don't. I didn't remember her at all. They were both in the old one. Oh yeah, you're right. Actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's been that long, guys. I do like that you get to see different ways that they all handle the same problem. Different ways that the people around them have handled it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This curse. Like the parents for each of them. Kisa's mom. She looks like she tries hard, but it's really taxing on her. Mm-hmm. And then. Vita's parents were always apologizing, so now he's the way he is. It just shows more of like the whole Soma dynamic. Mm -hmm. And I like seeing the way the characters we know react with them. <laughs> like how they're just like, oh, you're here. Unless they think. Like that weird cousin that comes in. Yeah, know. like what the heck? So these two episodes were. Quite an emotional roller coaster, mm -hmm. and it really drew me in. But there was one moment in episode eighteen mm -hmm. that kind of like took me out of the moment. It was after Kisa had turned back into a human. She got the letter from the school, mm -hmm. and Yuki was reading it, and he said something to the effect of like waiting for someone to love you before you can love yourself. And I kind of it, I understood what they were doing with the character. Or for the character, but the way they went about it, I was just kind of like, that's a bit odd. Because I know normally you hear, like, you have to love yourself before someone else will love you. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's more true in a general sense. Mm -hmm. But because of the specific character, they were talking about what he was saying fit. But I still don't really agree with it. Hmm. <laughs> I... Don't really agree with you. That's fine. <laughs> For me, I I do agree with his point. Like I kind of felt the way they felt when they were reading the letter. Mm -hmm. That like to just say love yourself is so easy, but it's so hard for some people to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I agree that like that letter was really presumptuous, mm -hmm. and it was kind of it was really rude. It was pretty rude. <laughs> But I also think, sorry, not to no, cut. Go ahead. No. But I also think that, like, for a series that's kind of catered more to like younger audiences, I feel like telling them to just take a back seat towards like their own happiness is kind of like not a good message. See, I don't think it's saying that. Oh, I feel like because he told her she has to try, and so they both decided they were gonna try. Mm -hmm. So they have to still put themselves out there. To find that someone. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the message. See, I got that at the end. But I feel like the way they went about it, it was so, it was kind of obscure. So they couldn't, like, some people won't take it that way. Well, I don't know, because it's like, the whole reason he said it was to get her to talk. To get her to come to out. To try. And she did. She mm -hmm. started talking. And the reason why she could do this is because she has Toru now. Mm -hmm. Who's mm -hmm. that person who accepts her. Mm -hmm. But then can... there's that thing about like having to wait for someone. But it's, I don't think he said wait. Let's just find someone. Or like, wait, fine. You know, like, but <laughs> you can't find someone if you're waiting. Mm -hmm. If you're just like hold up at home alone, not talking to anybody, mm -hmm. you're not going to find that person to help you feel better about yourself. Mm -hmm. But so like for both of them, they've 
now that they've been able to find somebody, mm -hmm. it's easier for them to accept themselves. Right. Like, I get that. Basically, I just feel like the way they went about it in episode 18 could have been a little more clear. Because in episode 19, they kind of like rehash it and it seems more direct what they're trying to say. So it's kind of like the same message, basically. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, like it's not wrong. I just think they could have gone about it a little bit better. I feel like the way they did it helps show people that it's not so easy for everyone to just love themselves. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of portraying that message. Like, the smallest thing you do could be that thing that helps someone. Mm -hmm. That's true also. Before, with episode 16 and 17, mm -hmm. I had wondered, like, why they moved it because it was in a different place in the manga. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that kind of also adds to this point because you see back then Uotani was kind of in that dark place and then she mm -hmm. found Toru and Kyoko and, and was able to come out so now you see her in the present mm -hmm. but it was thanks to having the people who accepted her for her to be able to accept herself mm -hmm. but then it also goes back to like you're you still need like an external force to help you out and that's the thing where it's, that's kind of also an issue I found with it where it's like, not everybody's going to be able to just instantly, you know, care about themselves, but it shouldn't also be like a, an external force that helps you out. Like it can be like a combination of everything, mm. I think. But the way they were saying it's like, oh, it's this. This is what's going to help you out. I felt like that was like, oh, maybe you shouldn't be saying specifically this. Because people might take that literally. That was, that's my big concern about it. I mean, for me, I feel like it's more like, not necessarily like that's the only thing that's going to help you, mm -hmm. but it's okay if that's what you need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying it's like wrong. I know, but I'm just saying that's how, that's <laughs> that's how, how I took it. it. Yeah. Like even in episode 19, how like Reed didn't have a reason for living mm -hmm. and Toru just was like it's okay to keep going until you find it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. even if you lose it yeah that's to what, keep going yeah that's what I'm saying like they were more they were more direct about it in that one they mm -hmm. were more clear about the, what their message was so that was I agreed with that one I was like yeah that's that's good but like for a younger audience I feel like episode 18 was kind of more but for a younger audience, they probably need that external more. They probably do, but they shouldn't wait. They shouldn't, they shouldn't yeah. rely on just that. They shouldn't, but different people do different things. Yeah, right? yeah. But I, that's what I'm saying. I think, like, just the way they went about it, it kind of, like, put too much emphasis on having an external force for episode 18. And then episode 19, it kind of, like, cleared up that message. So it's, that's why it's a story. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. But so that's why I'm just saying I think they could have done it a little more clearly. But that I like that they cleared it up in episode 19. 19. Cause, and I think that like with the way they ordered it, because I didn't know that episodes 16 and 17 were like in a different order. Mm -hmm. But with the way that they ordered it, it helps. Like it's kind of like, the progression of that message mm -hmm. but i don't know i feel like people might attune to what um what's her name the tiger kisa kisa i feel like people might attune to what kisa's going through more and so they'll listen to that specifically that episode more like younger audiences might listen to that episode more rather than you know the the next episode i like though how there's this continuing theme of not being able to see your own value, but others seeing it, mm -hmm. like with the rice ball analogy. Yeah, I was thinking of that too. And that for most of these characters, like especially the Zodiac characters, they all pretty much hate themselves in some way. And so yeah. Toru's the one who sees their umeboshi. It's good storytelling. Mm -hmm. Like the way everything connects. Yeah. Not the most obvious way, but it, it all like weaves in together to form this one great story. And I like that it's not just, like, two episodes, but all throughout. Mm -hmm. All throughout everything, yeah. These are our thoughts on episodes 18 and 19 of Fruits Baskets. Just our opinions on how we interpreted the series. Let us know how you interpret it. 
Did you agree with parts that I said or parts that Kat said, but disagree with others? No, let us know in the comments. We'd love to start a discussion with you guys because this one's a, re a series we really care about. Yeah. So we'd love to hear your opinions. Yes. If you like our content, subscribe to our channel and leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more, you can check out our past videos. And don't forget to follow us on our socials linked in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye. Look, it's a cat. Hello.